Who would you say is one of the most dangerous animals in the world? A lion or maybe a shark? If you thought of one of them, you should know that you're wrong because the most dangerous animal in the world is much smaller than the long-maned king of the jungle and the toothy fish, but at the same time, it's many times more deadly. In this episode, I'll tell you about the most dangerous animal on the planet and show you other animals that are definitely worth being afraid of. Black Mamba One of the deadliest snakes in the world is, of course, the Black Mamba. Some biologists call it Death Incarnate. In Africa, where this snake comes from, there are many myths and legends associated with it. This species is especially dangerous because of its aggressiveness. The Black Mamba often attacks without provocation and it moves very fast. This is one of the fastest snakes in the world. At short distances, the Black Mamba can reach speed of over 16 kilometers per hour. Adult lengths can exceed 2.5 meters, making the Black Mamba the second most venomous snake in the world after the King Cobra. Of course, rumors have greatly exaggerated the lethality of this snake, but before antidotes were available, the Black Mamba did cause many deaths. Without an antidote, there is almost no chance of surviving its bite, and therefore it is still considered one of the most dangerous living creatures on the planet. Komodo Dragon Komodo dragons are not too fussy about food. They can eat anything from birds to buffalo. For the long time, it was thought that the main danger were the millions of dangerous bacteria living in the lizard's mouths. However, scientists have found out what's venomous in the Komodo dragon's saliva. So even if the victim manages to escape from the clutches of this giant, it will not last long without urgent medical care. Hippopotamus The image of hippos in popular culture has greatly embellished their qualities. Numerous cartoons portray them as cute, good-natured, and clumsy creatures. But in reality, hippos are extremely dangerous. They can easily defeat a crocodile in the water and a lion on the land. They are no less dangerous than elephants or large predators. There have been known cases of sudden attacks of hippos on people. One adult of this species can trample even an armored jeep for safari. By the way, these animals run much faster than humans, so you should not believe the cartoons and want to ride a hippopotamus. Stonefish you don't have to be big to be the ocean's most dangerous inhabitant. The stonefish reaches a maximum length of 40 centimeters, but its entire body is covered with warts and bumps. With such a shell, the stonefish can easily camouflage on the rocky bottom among the coral reefs. The stonefish spends a lot of time waiting for its prey by burrowing into the sand. On the surface, only the top of the head and the back remain. Various grasses stick to the back. By the way, the back is the most dangerous part of the fish. It's equipped with 12 venomous fins, and the venom is so strong that scientists unanimously recognize the stonefish as the most venomous fish in the world. So if you plan to go scuba diving, keep your hands away from the strange stones at the bottom. They may not turn out to be rocks at all. Fire Corals Fire coral is the popular name for this genus. Its scientific name is Millipora, and it's not considered a coral in the conventional sense. This is the most distant relative of the coral polyps, which is considered a false coral and poses a great threat to swimmers and those who love diving. Fire corals can be found in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans. There are corals of almost all the colors, making it difficult to distinguish Millipora from algae. Even a light touch to fire corals triggers their defense mechanism. Their entire surface is covered by microscopic, sensitive tentacles that react to pressure and activate exploding cells with powerful toxins. Jellyfish defend themselves in a similar way. The moment a person collides with a fire coral, he gets a very sensitive burn, which in terms of pain can be compared to a burn from a red-hot metal. Most of us imagine the most dangerous animal on the planet as a large predator, something like this, right? And indeed, what can you expect from such a beast with huge teeth? It's probably the one that poses the greatest threat among all the animals in the world, isn't it? Actually, no. The most dangerous animal in the world looks different, and you'll soon see it. Stay tuned to learn about the deadliest animal on the planet, and you'll also see tiny snails with incredibly powerful venom, creepy spiders, scorpions with dangerous bites, and the most dangerous scavengers on Earth. Let's move on. Indian Red Scorpion these deadly creatures live mainly in India, in the eastern regions of Nepal and Pakistan, and in Sri Lanka. The first scientific description of these scorpions appeared in 1798. Indian red scorpions are not very large, 
They're five to nine centimeters long. Their coloration varies from oranges to brown to gray. They have dark gray spots scattered from the head to the lower back. Scientists still have incomplete information about this species, although Indian red scorpions don't mind settling near people at all. Fortunately, they're not particularly aggressive, but if you try to hold or catch them, they will attack immediately. So you can look at these spiders, but you shouldn't touch them at all. Brazilian Wandering Spiders Brazil is inhabited by as many as eight species of these spiders. Locals nicknamed it banana spiders because of its love for this fruit and because it lives on banana palms. This genus is very aggressive and extremely dangerous to humans. If a human behaves inadequately, provocatively, or carelessly, the venom of the Brazilian wandering spider is very strong because it contains a very strong neurotoxin. In small quantities, this substance is used in medicine, but in large concentrations, a fatal outcome is inevitable. Fortunately, Brazilian wandering spiders, as well as Indian red scorpions, are rarely aggressive towards those they do not consider as potential prey. But nevertheless, you should remember that in case of danger, these spiders raise their front legs. It's a sure sign to get away immediately. <laughs> hyena Most people think that scavengers are not dangerous, but we should not forget that hyenas are formidable predators. Over the years, hyenas and humans have come into close contact in Africa, Asia, and Europe, often resulting in mutual annihilation. The largest species is the spotted hyena. The jaws of this species are so powerful they can easily grind bones, and these jaws are used much more often than we think. Hyenas are excellent hunters, and 90% of their food is prey obtained by hunting. They're not as clumsy as they're portrayed in movies and cartoons. An adult hyena is capable of chasing a wildebeest, zebra, or gazelle up to 5 kilometers at 65 kilometers per hour, which exceeds the speed of lions and even leopards. Cone Snail There are more than 500 species of cone snails in the world, most of them inhabiting warm regions. The deadliest cone snail is considered to be the cigarette snail, which lives in the Indo-Pacific region. Why is it called like this? It's believed that if a person is bitten by such a snail, he will only have time to smoke one cigarette before the death. That's how powerful the venom of these snails is. Cone snails are essentially hermit snails and are not aggressive at all but will be able to defend themselves if picked up by some collector of beautiful shells. The Most Dangerous Animal in the World So what is the most dangerous living creature on the planet, if all previous animals are not deadly enough to make the top rating? As I said before, you don't have to be huge or the strongest to be the most dangerous creature in the world. The criteria for judging a creature's danger is generally quite vague, but there is one objective factor, the number of victims and no one can compare to the leader by this criteria. Meet the deadliest living creature on the planet, the malaria mosquito. Surprised? If you look at the size, it's really amazing and even strange because many people think that all mosquito can do is annoy you with its squeaks and bites. But in fact, malaria mosquitoes are carriers of the dangerous parasite of the genus Plasmodium, which cause malaria in humans in endemic areas. About 460 species are recognized, well over 100 can transmit human malaria. Only 30 to 40 commonly transmit parasites. The mosquito itself can be infected by an infected person or other carrier. It flies to spread the disease further by biting new victims. The malaria plasmodium goes through a full cycle of maturation and reproduction for 4 to 10 days in the body of the mosquito. Then the mosquito turns into a source of infection, which is active for 16 to 45 days. About 200 million people worldwide become ill with malaria every year, and about half a million people die of mosquitoes every year. For comparison, every year lions kill several hundred people, and only about 10 people become victims of the formidable sharks for the same time period. That's all, guys. Have you ever dealt with malaria mosquitoes? If yes, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the episode, subscribe to the channel, press the like button, and don't forget to stay notified of upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you later.